Perfect. I was here um, a few years ago when we were first introduced to Burke. It was, it was an interesting experience for sure. When they first started coming in, there was like this air of mystery, kind of not knowing why they're here, what they're, you know, what they're looking at. We're like, okay, so here's, you know, the flavor of the month, they're coming in and telling us that what we're doing isn't helping our kids and they're not learning anything. Everybody got very, well, they must not have come into my classroom. Well, they only stayed for five minutes. Well, I did it before they came. Um, everybody got very defensive and I think it took a little while for that kind of stigma to, to wear off to the point where we're like, you know what, they're right. When you have so many professional develops, developments, sometimes it's, it can get very overwhelming. Uh, but this is the one professional development that has sort of stood the test of time in a sense. I understand that it isn't evaluative, it's more reflective, um, kind of put us at ease and really helped us understand why they're going around looking at these different indicators and whatnot. I came into this field to teach and to educate kids, how can I do that better? Once people started looking at it in that way, people were much more accepting of it. I'm totally sold on um, the process, the STAR process, the STAR um, smart goal worksheets, the STAR protocol. I mean, all of those things have has given me tools that I can use to improve and hone in on my own um, development as an administrator. If you really want to get student achievement going, it's creating these structures and a, and a way for teachers to be able to reflect and get better. The fact that you have the STAR, what is it? See, you talk, and you apply, and then you reflect, that says it all. You actually go to see the observations, whether it's live or in a video, and then you get to talk about it. Uh, you get to talk about it a little your group, your peers, colleagues, and I think uh, it's helped me a lot to, again, apply some of the things that we've learned, discussed about, and then reflect upon as a teacher and see how that can be applied. It's made to be safe for you so that you are not being judged or judging anyone. You're just thinking about what you want to do to improve your own teaching and your own students' learning. So really, everybody on my team loves it. We did the work ourselves and going to observations and seeing these things in, in, in our own classrooms and then reflecting on it. And through the reflection, we recognized what we had to work on versus, oh, this is how you should stand and in class, or this is how you should talk, or this is you know, the script that you should use. There was none of that. I love what I do, and I love my students. These kids come from different backgrounds and a lot of different uh, levels of where they are as far as you know, high, low, so it's important. And I really, that's why I love this uh, protocol. It's helped me a lot. Mm -hmm.